What's up everybody, welcome to Elixir. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can make a motion poster using Adobe After Effects and Adobe Photoshop. So without wasting further your time, let's jump into the computer. So the first obvious thing you need is an image of a poster, which could be a movie poster, a game poster, or any TV show's poster. Then you have to animate it to make a motion poster. Now what you have to do, just take the poster and throw it to the Photoshop like this. Okay, I'm just kidding. So we have to import the photo in Photoshop and then we have to make some layers for foreground, midground and background. In our photo, the foreground are these shark fins and the midground is this big shark tank text and background you can see the sea. For ease of your understanding, I'll make two layers for this shark tank text and this whole background. So what you have to do for that, just go to quick selection tool and select letters. Just click on the letters. That's it. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, just hold Alt plus right click and then drag sideways to make bigger or smaller and drag up and down to increase the hardness or decrease the hardness okay fine now go select this one click control minus this one this one this one this one okay great now what you have to do just right click here and select cut we need to export it as a png file now we got our shark tank layer make it invisible click here and make the bottom layer visible this is our bottom layer go here and click the lasso tool and select the area around this one just drag and draw area and this one okay after selecting that hit shift f5 just select content error and hit okay don't mess up with these settings just hit okay and your computer will take some time and it's done a pretty decent job Hit Ctrl D to deselect the selection. You can further refine it using the clone stamp. Hit S on a keyboard to select the clone stamp. Holding Alt and then pressing left click, you take samples. And then releasing the Alt, just press the left click to blend. Okay? This is very, very simple. Okay. It's looking pretty decent. So these are the two layers we need. Now let's jump into the after effect. Now we are inside Adobe After Effects. Now right click here and go to new and then create a camera. You can see the preset, make the preset 50 mm and type is to note camera. Okay, just hit okay. If it's showing camera lights are not 2D layers, select the layer, just hit okay, no issues. So these are 2D images, so we have to make it a 3D layer. So for that, check on these 3D boxes. If you don't see this, go to toggle switches and modes. We will see these 3D icons, okay, cool. So now we have to see how our camera is moving in 3D space. So for that, we have to make two views from here. Just go here from one view to two view horizontal. Okay, so the left side, you see, this is the camera and we are seeing how the camera is moving from the top angle. From the top angle, we are seeing how the camera is moving in the space. And on the right side, you can see the active camera, which is the final output we'll get. Cool. We'll make a 10 second animation from this one. So go to 10 second and hit N and creates the endpoint for this timeline. So these are the three axes of the camera, X, Y, and Z axis. So if we move this parameter, you can see the camera is moving in 3D space. So we are viewing this from a top angle. And these are the layers. This is the Shark Tank PNG. This is an, one layer. And this is the Shark Tank Clean Tape. This is another layer. So first thing we have to do, make the background a little bit bigger for this one. So for that, what you have to do? Just select the Shark Tank Clean Tape. This is the background layer. and just move it a little bit backwards which will thin the frame and then scale it up now scale it up let's see it's 163 okay 163 is good for this animation our aim is to zoom out from the background and then we'll move the camera through the text png file okay we place the shark tank png text behind the camera so it's not showing on the final frame obviously if we put something behind the camera it will not show in the frame common sense right so now we'll make it's animation for that click on these three stopwatches and go a few frames forward and then move the 
sharp tank text file in front of the camera you see we are moving it at the front of the camera so if i go behind the background it will also not be visible okay now select the keyframes and hit f9 of your keyboard it will easy is the motion okay now let's just play, play this you can see sorry you can see if i play this you can see it's already created a beautiful animation now you see there is no depth of field on the camera so the shark tank png logo it's looking very sharp and the background is also sharp we need to create some depth of field so for that now go to camera and select camera options and turn on the depth of field so if you turn on this you see no difference so what is happening here so we need to change the aperture for the depth of field right so getting the blurry background or foreground you have to change the aperture for that so now go to aperture and change the value you see now we got some bloody foregrounds see cool this part we have done we are almost done for this poster so we need to do one last thing which is to make the water ripple or make the water animate okay for that we need to use one tool which is called the puppet pin tool so what puppet pin tool actually does if you take a normal paper pin and put it on a rubber sheet okay and then move the pin it will stretch the rubber sheet from one place to another according to the movement of your pin it's the same thing if you put the puppet pin tool on an image and then move the puppet pin tool it will stretch the image according to the movement of the pin simple okay now let's go do this now select the radius of the water like this create some parallel lines which will make the wave okay now go some frames forward or backward and move the position of the puppet pin so it will stretch the image it will already create some keyframes so you don't need to worry about the animation just go some frames forward and change the positions like this 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 like this go like this now go some frames forward or backward and change the position on the puppet pin tools again go like this like this again go some frames backward and then change it change the location of the pin tools so it's looking like the water animation will happen water ripple as you say now hit play you are done you see the water is moving i mean the water ripple you can see now wave is animating it's like magic it's not a magic it's science okay so this is a very easy thing to do once you grasp the idea how the camera and the puppet tool works you can make infinite number of combinations and you can make amazing motion poster i'm sure about that <laughs>